curious quirk in this fantastic sport. Matis Grande, a superstar in the making, will get this gold medal match underway for Mexico. I think your uh, comment might have uh, given him wings there. Seventeen World Youth Team Gold Medal for Uihara. Great start from both teams. Yeah, and typically in the first set you don't have to be exceptional. You just have to stay close to your opponent and, and shoot a good score. But well, exceptional is so far what we're seeing from the Mexican team. Mexico. A little bit of an opening for Japan. They could still uh, get one set point, but they will have to be perfect here. This is some start. Yeah, this is incredible. And it does seem like the the wind has died down a little again, but Still. Oof, that's gone wide. High left. And uh, Uihara Ruka up to the shooting line for Japan. Seems uh, disappointed with the nine, which is probably unnecessary but still a good sign because it means that you uh, are hoping and expecting to shoot more tens <laughs> same start to this second set as they had to the first set Slightly to the left, as are well, all of the arrows, although the rest of the arrows are very, very close to the middle. Um, you can kind of see... Uh, they have a very tight group, but just all a little bit left. And you can see her adjust her sight right now. And I think an adequate uh, amount as well, which is rare to see. It's a strange thing moving your sight in a match like this because it's like there is a, a kind of a mental aspect to it where you don't want to adjust it too much because there's always like the little voice in your head saying it might be me, it might not be the sight. And again, left high there for Nakanashi. Big opportunity here for Grande and Valencia. Ten helps out an awful lot. A nine from Valencia and Mexico a four nil up. Bit of pressure. What pressure, says Alejandra Valencia. What a superb start for the Mexican pairing. 4-0 down in the recurve mixed team gold medal match against Mexico. Damn. And it's 
it's a very good start to this uh, third and, and very important set in this match. Um, so far, Japan has shot two 36s, and that's just not going to cut it against this uh, very strong Mexican mixed team. And if there was ever a time for a comeback, it is now. Grande. Silver medalist at the uh, Hyundai Archery World Cup final last year, Alejandra Valencia also going into the nine. So this one is in Japan's hands. Okay, so another opportunity here for uh, Nakanishi where if he manages to put this in the middle, he can put away the set. Well, he does just that. And that is a cracking score. For Japan just when they needed it. No. So you could you could look uh, or you could see Alejandra there turning around and kind of have a, a questionable look on her face uh, towards Matthias. I think she was uh, waiting for him to give her information about why the arrows are hitting left and if that was supposed to hit left. Oh, and that is not what they need right now. Um, so far the Mexican team has not shot a single eight and uh, on average both archers have shot well, three nines and three tens, so nine and a half average. Obviously, that doesn't mean that they will continue doing that. Will be continue, but you would have to favor Mexico after that first rotation here. Good adjustment made there by Alejandra. And uh, well, Matias shooting another left nine there, but if they just keep doing that. Japan could do with another one of those. very much in the hands of Grande and Valencia for Mexico. It's enough. So she needs the seven to win, but I would like to see maybe a nine on the right, just to, to, to show us that she can. So demanding, Chef Vandenberg. It's not on the right, but it is in the middle as uh, Mexico take the gold medal in the Rico of mixed team competition. Matias Grande receiving a big hug from Alejandra Valencia. The Japanese came good in the third, but it was too little, too late as Mexico take gold here in Yechon. <laughs> 